it's been a while. If you guys remember this laptop, you know what we're going to be doing today. I am finally going to be doing it. This thing will run Windows 11 today. Oh god, I hit the tripod. Anyways, this is the ThinkPad T400. The last time you saw this boy was in the Windows 11 video. So let me just put it up there. But yeah, let's just zoom in. Okay. But yeah, this is the ThinkPad T400. And the last time you've seen this bad boy was on that video. And also on the short that I finally was able to put Windows 11 on it. And that was the preview, like the leaked version of Windows 11. How long has it been now since Windows 11 came out? A while now. Basically, I am finally redoing the thing of installing Windows 11 on this thing. But not just any Windows 11, the newest Windows 11. As of recently, Windows 11 24H2 has been announced to no longer really be friendly with these kind of computers. What I was referring to mostly because I really didn't do research, but I did hear about it. Windows 11 24H2 requires a CPU with POP CNT instruction set which is part of the SSE4 instruction set, basically making this a bit impossible. I could be wrong and somebody got this to work, but basically CPUs like what's on this ThinkPad will not work, but early and later Intel Core i's and AMD, Phenoms, Athlons, and Simpron on the K10 architecture could work with 24H2, which might give me an idea on what machine I could try this on later, but I might have to use an older Windows 11 to get it working on this ThinkPad. First of all, we have to do one thing. We have to plug it in because the battery is dead. The battery doesn't work, hold the charge anymore. So obviously we have to plug this thing in. So hopefully it doesn't blow up. But yeah, let's plug it in. And there's the LED right there. All right, let me just reopen it again. Oh God, I hit the camera. All right, so let's just turn you on. And let's see what this thing is running. Because last time I used it, I think it has Windows 10. Oh no, Windows 7. Yep, it's Windows 7. So we're just gonna welcome. This is probably not going to be a short video, but I mean, hey, probably people want that though. Because I, I for sure like watching longer videos, especially when it's shenanigans like this. Hey, Windows 7, an old friend, and it just went blur. I mean, not blurry, it just, just, I don't know, it's, something might be wrong with the back, like, it's running Windows 7. Computer properties just so that we can see what this thing is rocking just gonna zoom in a bit i've got a tripod all right so this thing is running an intel core 2 duo p8400 it has four gigabytes of ram and it's running 64 bit windows 7 ultimate service pack one of course and it's activated Look at that transparency, man. Man, I miss Windows 7. I wish I could rock it on my main computer, but I cannot, because it's old now, and it is very insecure. Kind of like me. It's just a basic install of Windows 7. I didn't do much with it. It's just Windows 7. Although I did install some of these programs, and I, and I did install um, the Microsoft Edge. I wonder, this thing still connected to the internet? Because for some reason, down here, there's nothing showing up. There is nothing showing up. So, I think it might be connected to the internet. Let's go to YouTube. Oh, wow. Hmm. All right then. Ah, oh, yes. Bring rock.
no. I'm not subscribing. So yeah, that's just Windows 7 running on this computer. Fine, just fine. But not for much longer. Now, specifically, the version of Windows 11 I am going to be installing on here is Windows 11 LTSC, which is a long-term support channel of Windows 11. That one recently got announced and has been released. So, and especially that version of LTSC of Windows 11 is 24H2 compatible. Wait, no, the variant of that, which makes sense because obviously that version of Windows has more of the AI stuff and all the, and also all the other stuff that can probably prevent this thing to run it. So first, I'm gonna go make the disk image. But basically, with what though? Obviously I'm not gonna be using this computer because I don't wanna get a virus. So we're gonna shut you down and say bye bye to Windows 7. All right, so now we have this right here. So now we're gonna, obviously we're gonna use this USB drive, which does have, which does have a Windows 10 install, but we're trying to install Windows 11 LTSC. So here's the ISO image, standard. Eh? We're not gonna be doing GPT, we're gonna do MBR because this is an older computer. FCS, start. This sticker is fitting now. Focus. Oh my god, it's struggling to focus. Are you kidding me? Okay, there we go. This Motorola sticker is fitting for this laptop considering that the phone division of Motorola is owned by Lenovo. So yeah, that sticker is fitting for this laptop. I'm just gonna plug her into one of the... Oh wow, that already lit up. And if you're wondering what drive we're installing this on, I just have to uh, pull it out of here. It is a 240 gigabyte Patriot Burst SSD, which should be fine because this was at one point my main boot drive on my early on computer. This should be enough for this laptop anyway, so there's no point in upgrading this boy. Or, okay, I guess it detected the flash drive. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I let us just try to to do it through the oh my god I, I hate how I'm trying to adjust the tripod but hey there we go I adjust it I was just trying to do it through the normal way but hey I guess this laptop set up to boot off a of flash drive so and so because obviously this is not Windows 7 that's not Windows 7 that's Windows 11 Oh my god. Please last try. Please load up Windows 11. Come on, man. We just need to see the swirlies. That's all we need to see. The swirlies. Especially, this is MBR, so there should be an issue there. Unless, unless the installer doesn't let you boot it off, off of these computers either. Maybe that, oh my god, it might be the reason why. No. That might be the reason why it's not letting me boot. I think I might need to try the other method, maybe, by putting the Windows 10 thing onto the Windows 11 thing so that I can do this, because it looks like this is not going on. Unless I put it to Windows 11, man. Let's try, let's try the benefit of the doubt. Let's try Windows, Windows 7 as an upgrade. I'm on pull the flash drive, boot up to Windows 7. Ah, shit. Oh, shit. It's not detecting the SSD. Oh, crap. That's the reason why. Okay. Um, hold on one second. I might have not installed it correctly. Oh, no. So dark. I need to turn on a light. 
Oh my! There we go. There's the SSD. Now we can turn the light off. And we can try just booting normally. Unless, maybe that might be the reason why we weren't able to boot. Well, that's different. That was different. So maybe, maybe, cross. It is flashing, as you can see. Okay, now it stopped flashing. And no. That did not change anything. Fuck. Okay, now we're booting to Windows 7. And let's see if just doing it through Windows 7, maybe it might let us do it. Even though probably you can't really do it under Windows 7. Although, maybe you can, who knows. I think a friend did, it, did that. Maybe, I don't know. We're booting up to Windows 7. Oh, what the hell? Now, now this is showing up. Now the Wi-Fi is showing up. What the hell was going on before? Let's see if it'll just let me do it without having to do some tinkering. If it doesn't let me, I'm going to try to do it by doing the Windows 10 thing. Putting the Windows 10 stuff on the installation media and then... Okay, so here we go. Next. Hopefully it's not going through the fucking Windows 11 stuff. Which is most likely what it's gonna probably do anyways. Product key. I'm just gonna go with... I previously installed Windows 10 and Windows 11 on this PC. Alright, so we're going to do Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC. Checking your PC. This is where it's going to tell us. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think we might have... I think we might have... Oh, oh, oh. We're going to do nothing just because I really don't care much about what's installed on here. Oh my god! It is... It is letting us! It's letting us. All right, we're gonna click install, and we're just gonna let it finish installing. We're at two percent now, so that's a good thing. So I'm just gonna let it finish installing, and hopefully, we should boot up to Windows 11. Uh, what the fuck? What the? <laughs> we couldn't install Windows 11. The installation failed in the safe OS phase with an error during boot operation. Huh?